Hi, and welcome back to IWS Motor Coaches. I'm here to give you a tour of the inside of the IWS Sportsman 30 by Renegade. We've done significant improvements on this Sportsman over the last models that we were offering. The first thing I want to point out as we enter the staircase is that Renegades designed what they call the boot step and there's a place under each of the stairs where you can store uh, shoes or boots. It's kind of nice to be able to walk up the stairs and you know kick your shoes off so you're not tracking mud in the coach. The other thing I want you to notice as we go up in here is this is our mud room. We're very proud of this feature. We think it's probably one of the only models of coaches built with this type of room in the back. What we tried to do was create a room where you could walk in after fishing or out with the dogs and you can go inside of it, take off your wet clothes. You have some privacy from the interior of the coach. Keep in mind as we walk around inside this mudroom, we can do just about anything you want in there. We could put a reloading bench, we can make a spot for your dogs to be tied up, or just a great place to set groceries. You know, the sky's the limit. Now I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about some of the features that are inside of it. Here you can see the power retract awning switch, the lights. I also want to point out that at IWS Motor Coaches, we go ahead and make labels and label all the switches so that you can easily tell which switch does what. Here's the coat rack over the exit door. I think Renegade did a lot of good thinking in putting it there because you can hang your clothes right there and they drip down onto the stairwell. Here Marty's trying to give you a demonstration so you can see exactly how big the mudroom is. Now he's going to go ahead and slide the door open and walk down the hallway and enter the coach. It's really a grand entry with the padded walls and the maple wood. It's just an absolutely gorgeous coach. Now as we pan around, I want to draw your attention to the dinette. This is a flex steel dinette. We think it's the absolute best dinette that you can buy. This one has a real nice curved back, so if you want to slide in and kick back, you can kick back. It's very comfortable to lay on. A lot of the other dinettes are very straight up and down and very rigid, and they're just not comfortable for extended periods of sitting. Here you can see there's storage underneath both of the booth seats that slides out. It's a great place to put extra bedding, extra clothing. I also want you to notice underneath the table that there's two 110 outlets, and that's so that each of you can plug in your own laptop. As we move through the coach, you're going to see that Renegades really thought ahead about outlets and where everything should be placed. Here's just a nice little drink holder or condiment holder that keep things from sliding around as you're traveling down the road. This coach is equipped with day and night shades. You have one shade for daytime and then another darker shade you can pull down for total privacy. Here we're going to go ahead and open up the overhead storage cabinets. There's lots of nooks and crannies and lots of places to store stuff. The space is very well utilized. All the lights in here are LED. Here's a shot of the overhead LED light strips that are on there. It really adds a nice action accent light in the evening. Maybe you don't want all the lights on. Now we're going to move into the kitchen and it has the polished surface counters on it. it. has convection oven slash microwave. It's great for baking or microwaving. Uh, we loved it so much we actually put one in our own home. Here's a small storage cabinet over the top of the sink. I want you to notice this has a real easy to use light switches. Here as we look at the recessed countertop, I want you to notice there's extra 110 outlets behind the stove so you can run a coffee pot, a can opener. Now we'll go ahead and remove the recessed countertops from the stove and the sink so you can get an idea of what they look like with the covers off. This is a really nice residential style deep stainless steel sink. It has a residential style faucet on it. It has the pull out feature on it so you can get down and scrub the pots and pans. This coach is also equipped with 100 gallons of water on it. Here's another shot of the stove with the removable solid surface counter on it. Now we're going to talk about the control center on the coach. I think Renegade's done a great job of locating this strategically in the middle of the coach where it's easy to get to. Keep in mind if you buy a coach from IWS, we provide you with an iPad with a video on each one of these controls and the best way to maximize them and how to use them the easiest. Here's the control station where your slides are and this is where you can turn on your water pump, your gas heater. Here's the generator start function or the auto gen start function. Here's the auto level. This is really nice. You know, within about three to four minutes, you can have this coach leveled up and the slides out. All you do is turn the power on, hit auto level, and the computer takes over from there. Here's the remote start for the Cummins Onan generator. This coach has an 8KW generator on it. It's more than adequate for this coach. 
Now we're going to talk a little bit about the cabinets and the construction in this coach. All the cabinets in here are built by true Amish craftsmen. When I say that, we're not making it up. I mean, most of the employees at Renegade are Amish. Everything's built out of solid maple that has full length drawer slides with soft close features. They're just a fantastically built coach. Here we're gonna open up one of the kitchen cabinets. That cabinet's about 21 inches deep. It has adjustable shelves in it. There's lots of room in there for storage. Here's the overhead entertainment system. Everything's easy to reach. This one, we've already installed the DirecTV receivers in it, and it's all ready to go should you buy it. Here's the nine cubic foot refrigerator. This refrigerator operates on 110 or straight propane or LP gas. Now we're gonna pan around, show you the bathroom in this coach. You really owe it to yourself to come look at one of these coaches in real life and just really see the beauty of them. Here's the LED rope lighting that's along the floors and it's throughout the coach. It makes it nice if you get up at night, you can turn on the low level lighting and you're not bothering anybody else as they sleep. Here is the macerator toilet system, and this has a grinder in it that emulsifies everything as you chop it up so you don't have to use special toilet paper or anything like that. Here's a shot of the little magazine rack that's in the bathroom. Renegade really thought of everything. The black padded walls and the solid surface countertop, they just really bring a high level of elegance to this coach. Here's the vanity lights, and everything in this coach is LED. And then we're also showing the, the overhead accent lighting. This is the stand-up shower in this coach, and it's all glass. The sliding door is solid glass. It has a skylight over the top. Marty here is just under six foot, so I believe it would fit somebody clear up to seven foot tall that could shower in here very comfortably. Now we're gonna move around to the other side of the coach on the interior and talk a little bit about some of the controls. Here's the digital thermostat in it. This coach has two 15,000 BTU air conditioners. Here's another shot of the light switches, just showing you the labels that we put on them so that you know which switch goes to where. Here in the pantry, we're gonna slide these out. These cabinets are just about 24 inches deep. They have full length drawer slides on them. I just can't say enough about the quality of the craftsmanship of these coaches. Here you can see there's deep shelves. You can also remove these shelves and use that as a clothes hanger inside there. We have a clothes rod installed inside of it. Now we're gonna look at the flex steel sofa and this is a height of bed sofa. It also has three seat belts in it so you can haul extra passengers with you and get them safely seat belted in. Here we're gonna go ahead and unfold the sofa for you so you can see the air mattress on it. The thing to point out about this too is when the bed's out, you can walk all the way around the bed. There's full access to the bunk. That's some of the improvements we've done over the coach from last year. Here you can see the air fill valve on this. It's real easy to air up the air mattress. You just snap this controller on it and plug it into the wall. In less than a minute, this thing's completely inflated. Here's a shot of the overhead bunk with the plug in and it's set up for sleeping. As you can see, the television is on a motorized slide. Really is nice in the evening to be able to move the TV for the best viewing angle. This is what the bunk looks like with the cab plug in and out, and here's with the ladder on. It has a fold-down television here that rotates and moves all different directions so you can get the optimum viewing angle. If you don't want it in the way, you can just fold it up to the ceiling. The windows have day-night shades on them. There's LED rope lighting up in the top here. There's also LED lights up into the ceiling. There's ducted air conditioning up in the bunk, and there's also a vent fan up in the bunk. And this also has a rain sensor on it, so if you leave the coach at night and it starts raining, that's gonna close on you. Here, Marty's gonna open up the access, and it's kinda nice in the evening. You can lay there and look at the stars, or if you wanna come out on top of the coach, you can stand up in here. Here, Marty's kinda looking around. It's kinda interesting. He actually spotted a fire while we were making this video as he was looking around. Here's the drink holders that are up in the upper cab bunk. Notice we had a 110 outlet put on each side so each of you would have a place to charge your cell phones in the evening and a place to put your drinks. Here we're gonna slide the TV over out of the way and we're gonna remove the cab plug to show how easy it is to get in the coach when you're driving down the road. Typically when you're driving you would have that removed so that getting in and out of the cab as Marty shows here is really easy to do. Now we're gonna spend a little time talking about the interior. 
This has the flex steel captain's chairs in them. They're both air ride. The steering wheel tilts and telescopes. They both have armrest on them. Here's the CB radio. The Freightliner has great reading lights on the top. They're in white and also in red for reading in the evening. Here's a little bit about some of the controls on it. This coach has a high-low actual engine brake. It's not an exhaust brake. Has a 3000 series six-speed automatic transmission. These transmissions are absolutely the best you can buy. Here's the touchscreen navigation system and a CD player has Bluetooth audio on it. Just a fantastic navigation system. It has all the Rand McNally maps in it. I really hope you like what you see. And if you did, stop by and give it a test drive or give us a call. Thanks for your time.